In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the ticket toolbot in Discord. So if you want to go and create a ticket support system for your Discord server, then we can do that in just a couple easy steps. Now, the first thing you need to do is open up an internet browser and we're just going to type in ticket toolbot and then hit enter. Now click on the top website, which is ticket tool.xyz. And once you're on this official website, we can click on invite ticket tool. From this window, you'll need to sign in to your Discord account if you're not already signed in and then we're going to scroll down to the bottom where it says add to server and this is where you need to select the server that you want to add the ticket bot to so i'm going to click on my server here and then go and press continue now make sure you have all of these options checked and enabled like so and then go and press authorize click on i am human and just like that we have now authorized the ticket tool so now what you'll need to do is head back over to that ticket tool website. Once you're on the website, click on dashboard in the top right hand side. Click on login with Discord and then just go and sign in with your Discord account. Scroll down and click on authorize and now click on manage. Now what you can do is open up Discord on your computer. Click on your server in the left hand navigation. Once you're in your server, click on the drop down arrow next to its name. Click on server settings. Click on roles in the left hand side. And from here, you should now see the ticket tool. Now what you want to do is go in reorder this. So the ticket tool is below admin and moderator. Now this really comes down to personal preference where you want to go and place this tool, but I would recommend placing it below your admin and moderator permissions. Then we can click on save changes. Now what we need to do is create a role for our support team that are going to be replying to these tickets. So you can do that by clicking on create role, give your role a name. I'm just going to call this support tickets, select a role color, scroll down and make sure that display role members separately from online members is unchecked and also allow anyone to mention this role. Make sure this is also disabled. Then click on permissions in the top navigation, select clear permissions. Now you need to move the support ticket role to somewhere near your admin and moderator. I'm just going to place this directly below the ticket tool. Then go and press save changes. Now close out of this window and come over to your server. Right click on the left hand panel and click on on create category. Now go and create a category for your support tickets. So I'm just going to give this the name support, then turn on the private category and click on next. Now go and select the roles that you want to have access to the support tickets. So for my one, I'm going to click on ticket tool support tickets. And I also want that admins to have permissions to the support tickets and then go and press create category. Now go and right click on your support channel, click on edit category, click on permissions, scroll down to the advanced permissions and click on this. Make sure you have everyone selected in this left hand navigation. Then we're going to scroll down to where it says view message history and make sure the read message history is checked and enabled like this and press save changes. Now click on the plus icon next to your support channel. For the channel type, click on text and give your channel a name. I'm going to call this support tickets, then go and press create channel. Then what we can do is head back over to the ticket tool on your web browser. Now click on panel configs in the left hand side. Click on the plus icon, give your panel a name. I'm going to call this support tickets and go and press create. Now click on general, click on the drop down next to support team roles and then go and select the role that will be responding to these ticket requests. So mine's going to be the ticket tool role, which is the one we just created. Now click on save changes, head back over to the previous window. Now click on category, click on the drop down arrow next to category created, and then go and select your support channel that we just created. If you don't see it, make sure to refresh the page. Now click on save changes, go back over to the previous window, click on messages. Now click on edit panel message, click on the drop down next to embed editor and from here you can go and create your own custom message. You can mention something here about clicking the mail emoji to go and create a ticket. I'm just going to type in click the mail emoji to create a ticket and then we can press save. Now go back over to the previous window, come back again, click on permissions, Next to ticket owner permissions, click on edit opened, scroll down to where it says read message history and make sure to turn this on and enable it, then go and press save. Now click on panel configs in the left hand navigation, 
scroll up to the top and click on the send tab click on the drop down arrow and select your support tickets channel click on send now if you come back over to your discord application you'll be able to see this custom message that we just created so now every time someone clicks on create ticket they're going to be able to create a ticket for your channel once the ticket's been opened you'll see we have this new channel called ticket 001 and the only people that will be able to see this is the person that created the ticket along with the members of staff that have access to responding to tickets now both the creator and also the staff member can go and close this ticket once it's dealt with and it's as simple as that guys if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one